Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Grandia on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we got back to town after getting down Typhoon Tower, and we put the spear that we got into the little rocky area, and then we're all acknowledged heroes, and then we're going to go ahead and head off to... I forget if they said the name of the next area, but that's where we're headed off to. Uh, we're also here in the north... Llama Mountain. I think it's the North Llama Mountains. It might be the South. Either way, something about llamas, and I'm not seeing too many of them around, but oh well. Uh, off screen, a few things I did. I did take a break between episodes, so I went back to town and saved, and on my way back, I re killed all the enemies. Uh, basically, just doing a little bit of grinding. Uh, got Fina's dagger up a little bit, because she kind of needs it, since it's much lower than the other one. And that's why she's so damn fast, is every level up with the wit get, or the whip gives two wit, and then her fire, which is the highest for some reason, also gives plus one wit. So yeah, she's just beginning a ton of wit from her weapon and the fire magic. So yeah, she did that. Uh, I think everybody has Halva now. Yeah, everybody has Halva. Except for Gadwin, since he doesn't learn water magic. Uh, for Justin, I just kept working on his earth magic there. Um, I think the next step for Justin is working on combination earth and fire to get whatever that level 18 fire magic is. Uh, yeah, that'll also get that 19 and 15. I'm assuming that's going to be the the uh, highest zap spell. But then there's also one right above it for 21 and 19. So, which, as far as I can tell, should be slightly below the 19 and 15 one. But, okay, if that's how they want to do it. Um, so, yeah, I got to get him up there. I might just go ahead and keep working on Earth until he gets to level 20 with it. Or just might I might just uh, do a back and forth. And then eventually we'll get a sword and start leveling that up so we can get whatever his... 23, 17, 17 is right there. So Justin, he's working on fire, fire and earth. Sue, she's going to be working on a little bit of fire. And then, yeah, probably just earth as well. I mean, why not? For the level 19 earth spell there, uh, Gadwin actually got that from using digging a lot. And it turns out to be Quake, which as far as I can tell is a, another attack magic. Which is fine, but I was kind of thinking, you know, Earth would have more defensive stuff since it actually advertises itself as a defensive type there. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't mind having all the extra attacks and stuff, but I just thought there would be more than just the one defensive spell there. Okay. And also, I just realized that uh, level 20 appears to be the last water skill for everybody here. So yeah, we got the final healing spell already somehow. Which is fine, I guess. I was kind of I, I was kind of expecting a healer plus. You know, since we got the all healer plus, why don't we have a healer plus? But oh well. Uh, Fina, she's working on, like I said, her daggers and then also occasionally working on her or Earth, because at the moment her fire is pretty, pretty good. Everyone's pretty much working on uh, fire and Earth, really. And Gadwin, of course, he's working on fire and Earth. So there we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and oh yeah, one other thing. Those Blue Devil guys, they actually drop an accessory if you get lucky. Uh, the accessory is the Titan Ring there, which gives plus five attack. So not too shabby. I'm going to give that to Gadwin since he doesn't really need the plus four plague resistance at this point. So that'll work out pretty good for him there. And let's go ahead and head off to the rest of the Llama Mountains here. I think I said South Llama Mountains, but I'm not sure. Hey, a save point. Oh, okay. Oh, is this going to be one of those uh, tent places? Hmm, there aren't any monsters here and we have good visibility. Let's camp here today. Okay. I agree with Gadwin. I'm so tired. Can I grab the 20 bucks right there first? 
Now then, let's have Justin and Fina get us something to eat. Sue, will you help out here? Sure, that's great. We'll set up the tent. Let's do a Puffy. Puffy Puff Puff. Puffy doesn't uh, speak up as much as he did at the beginning of the game. But then again, there's also more characters for him to try to talk over. Naturally, after going beyond the end of the world, from here on we'll be traveling to lands not on the map. I didn't notice it until Justin said it, but this truly is an adventure. Well, yeah, we climbed over the mountain that everyone thought was literally the end of the world, so yeah. That's right, I'm glad you feel the same, the same, Fina. I wonder what awaits us in this village of Gumbo. It should be fun from there, or from here. I wonder if they're going to have like a lot of, uh, you know, like Gumbo food. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Whenever I'm full, I feel tired all at once. Yeah, that kind of happens, especially with like uh, white meat, turkey and stuff, or the dark meat. Either way, it's just turkey in general, I think. Fina, no matter what you cook, it's always so delicious. Puffy Puff. <laughs> you've, been e you've eaten everything up. Thank you, thank you, Sue and Puffy. I helped too, you know. Don't forget that. Say, hey, Justin, what kind of place is the village of Gumbo? Let's have Gadwin tell us all about it. Okay, sure. Uh, Fina, you got anything to say about that? No? Gadwin, Gumbo, speak up. We should talk about the land that lies ahead of us. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, let's just ask all three. Gumbo is a warm village facing the sea. Thanks to the nearby volcano, it feels like late spring all year. Ooh, nice. Though a coastal village like Dyke, Gumbo is completely different. It's lively with year-round festi festivals. Gumbo is an intensely vibrant place. Whenever I go there, I feel irrepressibly cheerful. What is the festival like? Owing to the nearby volcano, Gumbo is always warm. Thanks to the volcano, the villagers celebrate often. They always have a positive outlook. They like to celebrate after the third meal, and they live for the festivals. So they like to celebrate every day after dinner, pretty much. Okay. Hey, <laughs> a festival sounds like fun. For me, festival and adventure are two words for the same thing. Aren't they worried about the volcano just like erupting on them, or something like that? Tell us about the Twin Towers, and not the ones in New York. Or the ones that used to be in New York, I'm sorry. I myself, I myself have not gone to the Twin Towers, but from stories I've heard, it is situated west of Gumbo. However, the problem is that between Gumbo and the Twin Towers lies mountains that spew deadly poison gas. Consequently, the only way to reach the Twin Towers is from the Southern Sea. In Gumbo, we'll have to seek out a, a boatman. Okay. So we gotta find somebody to cross the, uh, the boats, or cross the sea with a boat. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna be the block-off point for not being able to come back to Dite or whatever. Clean ocean and a blue sky. Gumbo must be such a romantic place. Say, Justin, Fina. At Gumbo, you two can go swimming. Gadwin and I won't bother you. Sue, you're a good person. I appreciate your concern for our well-being. I, I like you, Sue. I don't, I don't care what I said about you in the beginning of the playthrough. Where did that come from? What are you saying, Sue? Yeah, what do you mean, Sue? I noticed uh, Fina's kind of blushing there. Teehee, what's wrong, Justin? Why are you turning red? Actually, uh, Fina was blushing more than... Uh, Justin was. Oh, Sue, you say such strange things all of a sudden. Yeah, she's she's got that bashful look in her face right now. Okay, so nothing else. Alright, so that was a fun little conversation there. Ah, uh, the village of Gumbo. It sounds like such a happy place. It sure does. It's just the place for Justin. Well, let's get out. Let's get off to bed. Once we leave here, our next stop is Gumbo. Well, good night, everyone. You know, I just realized... Yeah, we're having an adventure, but we don't really have a reason to be having an adventure except for, hey, let's go out and just explore places and have fun. Like, it's not like the end of the world or... No, no, okay, okay never mind. I, I, I misspoke. Justin wants to find Liette and uh, stuff like that. But uh, other than that, they're just kind of being really chill about the whole thing. Yeah, I forgot about Liette for a second. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's get to the save point, see what hint they have for us, if they have... Sometimes they have hints. I, I'm guessing at a certain point they're going to run out of hints and either repeat them or stop saying them. I'm sorry, Colonel. The forces stationed in New Parm did not report having discovered Justin. No reports, you say? Drat. Where did he, where did he disappear to? Have them continue to search in New Parm. With the end of the world, there is only one place for him to return to. Walking over the wall is impossible. Send the reports directly to me without going through General Ball. 
Do we tell him of the Spirit Stone? We have yet to obtain the Spirit Stone. Without results, do you think Father would be happy to hear just a status report? Do you understand? Yes. Start the next operation now. There are still mysteries for us to solve. The mysteries the mysteries of the Ikarians. So, do we head east? Yes, to the ruins. Move up the final inspection of our ship, the Lion Lot. Lean, we'll be on Force March starting to, again tomorrow. Rest up a little tonight. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, I, I kind of realized something there. Um, some of the military vehicles we've seen have been, like, capable of flying and stuff. So what's stopping them from... Oh, is this the way... That must be the way forward. This must be the way back. So what's stopping them from just flying up over the end of the world wall and then, you know, actually looking to see, hey, there isn't anything down there, or there is, you know, just actually confirming that uh, it's the actual the end of the world and not just assuming, you know, because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. You guys want to go forward there? There we go. But yeah, they can just, like, fly over the wall and... If it turns out that the wall really is infinite, then, hey, they were right. And if it turns out that there actually is stuff over the wall, then, well, there you go. All right, I see money, and this is going to be a place of confusion, isn't it? Okay, I'll take care of these chumps real fast. All right, I think this should be the uh, last group of enemies here. Uh, it's mainly it's mainly been uh, a whole bunch of uh, blue kites, uh, and then a couple blue devils, and then just a random gripple or two. I basically just cleared out everybody I could find, uh, including the areas we haven't seen just quite yet. So I just went off to the north a little bit. Um, Gadwin, like I said, he did learn Quake, but he hasn't been able to use it since he doesn't have the MP for it. But you notice that it's still at half a star right now. Um, yeah, it's still going up from uses of digging and tremor so it does go up which is nice i just thought i'd show that uh gadwin you just go ahead with uh yeah let's go to the boom pal why not fina you go ahead and try to attack the blue devil real fast try to get some action off before gadwin nukes him because she still needs the Knife experiencer. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy like. Yeah, Gadwin will eventually get more MP and he can actually use that Quake spell, but until then. Oh well. Yeah, combination skills don't really give a whole lot, unfortunately, but yeah, we'll take it. Anyways. We are up, like I said, towards the top part of where we were. Uh, let's see, we got some moolah. Awesome. This guy right here, I can't get him to come down. Like, yeah, he'll he'll glare at you for a little bit, but he won't actually he won't actually jump down to attack you for some reason, unless there's something I'm not seeing. So yeah, I don't know how to get him to actually come down and bother you here, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, let's see. This is where we came in still. So let's go ahead and try right over here. I'm assuming that little devil dude will come down at some point. Just, I don't know when. Let's see. This looks like it might be a dead end. Yeah, this looks, like, this looks like a dead end down here. Okay, so there are areas that we can go to that aren't going to do anything. Okay, fair enough. You want to head forward there, dude? Okay. Why is this not going forward? Hello. Am I stuck down here? Okay. Apparently these things are not very... Easy to control going forward. Come on, come down and attack me, guy. 
I mean, it's not much experience, but it's something, so that'd be nice. Okay, the corner. How do we get this thing to actually go forward? Maybe, maybe you actually gotta like press the little corner there, and that'll actually let it go. Uh, can I get this thing called down here? No. Okay. And there's a nice group of enemies to cover there, so let's do that. And what do we got here? Health weed. Uh, by the way, with the health weed, or not the health weed, uh, let's get into battle with these guys and see if we can't look at it real fast. You know that gear whip that we have? I was looking at it and it said 27 attack, something like that, uh, attribute win, and then parentheses, runner. So I tried casting it with Sue and Fina, and it doesn't do anything, so it must have like some effect when it's just equipped that I haven't been noticing, because I can't get it to actually do anything else. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, okay, you kill these guys. I think Gadon will more or less one-shot these guys. Uh, Random Pearl actually does do a pretty good chunk of damage, but I think these guys are going to be dead. Actually, Random Pearl is pretty good because it hits all enemies. Yeah, I just like Fire Whip because it has a elemental attribute to it as well. Oh, you guys are still alive. Yeah, this, this will still do like uh, 200 damage to all enemies, which is nice. Okay, uh, earlier it was doing like 200 damage to enemies, but I guess it wanted to Make a liar out of me, which is fine. I don't mind that. And yeah, tolerable experience. I still think the fire whip and stuff like that ends up just giving a fatter chunk of experience for some reason. It seems like it does. Maybe we, maybe we were fighting larger groups of enemies and it was doing that. Okay, this looks like it might actually be the way forward. Not quite what I was going for there, guys. Okay, yeah, not quite what I was going for there. Because so I wanted to check out some other areas there. Because it looked like there was a few other areas that we could get to. And now I'm going to have to refight all these enemies, aren't I? Come on, go forward. There we go. Okay, so where are we? We are right near the... Right where we were. Okay, so right down there, that was just the way forward. That's fine. I thought the way over over by the group of enemies that we saw over here, that was going to be the way forward. But apparently not. Uh, oh, you're still the... Okay, all the enemies didn't respawn. That's kind of odd, but you know I'll take it. I'm kind of hoping that we have more items around here. That guy just doesn't want to die. I mean, I don't think anybody does, but at the same time, I would appreciate it if he did. And more enemies around here. You know, I'll take care of all these guys real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, turns out that was just the uh, one group of enemies there. So let's go ahead and... So this is where we started right here. So we got some money right here. So let's go ahead and check out this right here. Seems like you do have to press X on the edge of the little platforms to actually get anywhere. Ooh, hello. More money. What do we got here? More enemies. And more stuff to do with. You know, we'll just cover these guys on screen real fast. It shouldn't take too long, especially with a uh, house slash or burn flare or something like that. Get away, and it's up to you, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, use burn flare. Yeah, if we had one more MP, we could use quake there, but. Uh, unfortunately, we don't seem to have that. Uh, Fina, I'm just going to go ahead and let you kind of hang out here for a minute. I think Gadwin should be more than equipped to polish these guys off. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, they're not dropping any more of those attack up rings, but you know what? I like the SP down on the killer moves anyways. If I had another one of those, I would give it to Gedwin, but he doesn't have another one. Uh, you're very close to your next uh, level for both of those, Gedwin. And you are... Can 
kind of just hanging out up there. Okay. You wanna get attacked here, buddy? Okay, I guess that guy just kind of wanted to fly away. Is he gonna attack us? Okay, there he is. I wasn't sure what he was doing there. And how many of you guys are gonna be in here? Eh, three of them. Okay. Good enough. Gadwin, it's up to you, pal. I'm gonna go ahead and... And we're out of, uh... Yeah, screw it. Let's do a rupt cut. I was gonna use... Uh, what was it? Uh... Uh, it's level 2 explosion magic, whatever that's called. Either boom or boom pow or whatever that was. And apparently Eruptica is just one person, which I was apparently misinformed on. Okay. Yeah, let's howl him to death. Why not? Fina, you go ahead with a tremor. And that should work out, I think. I hope we get another mana egg at some point. That way, Fina can get her final attribute there. Which I think gives. What was it? Uh, it gives. I think the movement one. Which is kind of weird. You would think. You would think that would give speed. Then again, you would think that uh, the Earth would give vitality or HP, but it gives strength. Yeah. And you are so close, Sir Gadwin. So close. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. I don't think you're actually close enough to actually get your next skills for those. Actually, let me look at that real fast. Gadwin, you're at 15 and 20. Your next skill is 18 fire and... Oh, you, you would get your next uh, explosion magic. Not that you'd probably have the MP to cast it, but it would be there. So I just need a few more fire experience from it. Eye stone, what is this? Speeds casting of spells. Ooh, that's actually not too shabby. And then again, most of our spells are actually casting really fast anyways, due to the fact that they're all level five for the most part. But that would make them cast even faster, I'm assuming. And that would actually work out... That, that would work out really well on the... the, uh... level 3 spells that we haven't fully mastered yet. That we haven't got the highest uh, level yet. Gadwin, you are a champ. You're getting all sorts of turns here. Uh, we don't have enough for that. So we're gonna have to burn... Um, one of these guys. And hopefully that gives you enough to get your final explosion skill. Very nice. Not quite. Uh, Sue, you go ahead with a burnt flame. And I should... Probably not going to kill everybody. But it should get him low enough to... Ooh, burn strike. Ooh. That's nice. I'm going to take a minute and defend here. And... Ashgrove. Well, you, we'll, we'll try out burn strike in the next battle. See how, see how it looks. I think Sue is at level... What, 19 fire? I don't know actually, but she's not she's not that high, I don't think. I know I know for a fact Fina is higher, so apparently she got a fire spell that Fina did not. Which is cool. Then again, a lot of people get a lot of weird stuff. Like uh or not weird, just different stuff. Uh Burn Strike 18, yeah. Uh, okay, that's that's what Justin's gonna get very soon. Fina did not. Oh, you're gonna get that too. Okay, so moves wise, attack one enemy with four red hot flames. Ooh, that's nice. And it's not really much more expensive than a burn flare. So I'm guessing it's gonna be very powerful 
Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be like a burn flare power, but just with like one enemy, uh, one enemy type there. Okay, cool. But yeah, it's kind of weird how. Okay, Justin gets digging. Uh, Sue gets digging a defense loss. Fina just gets digging, and then Gadwin gets digging a defense loss. So they all get their own little sets for whatever reason. I guess to make it so they're not carbon copies or whatever. Okay, I want to see what this uh, burn strike looks like here. Uh, Justin... You don't have defense loss, do you? No, you don't. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, go ahead and freeze. And that'll reduce all their movement speed. Take that. I'm guessing with like a 5-star spell and that ring that reduces cast time, I'm guessing that's just going to make a damn near instant cast. Then again, stuff like digging already goes really fast anyways. So, there you go. Let's go with a burn on you. Rage and, flame. and I think you're just going to get burn strike. No, you're going to get your explosion magic. That's right. Okay, apparently you're not getting very much experience there. Uh, let's see. Burn strike. Attack one enemy with four red hot flames. Let's try this guy up front. Yeah, that's nice. Plenty of damage, too. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's try to get Gadwin's fire spell here real fast. If we can, that'd be great. Uh, Fina, you just go ahead and take care of that guy. Almost killed him, too. Uh, Gadwin. Screw it. Let's use a Rupt Cut just to get the extra Earth experience as well. It's a bit overkill on that poor little kite there, but I think he'll. Here you go. I think he'll understand that he's serving a greater purpose here. Gadwin, why are you? Why have you not got your fire skill there? You did, but how come you didn't gain your skill? What am I missing here that Gadwin didn't get that skill for? Well, before we get too far, uh, let's see, any treasures? No. I think that's the one we came in on, so this is the next step there. Gadwin, what are you missing here that I'm not seeing? Oh, it's 18. I thought it, I thought it was 16. Or I thought, his, uh, I, I thought it said 20 and 16, not 20 and 18. Okay, that's why he's not getting it. Fair enough. My fault. You want to go down that way? Thanks. All right. Ooh, and no, okay, that's the one we just came from. Okay. Unless some of these just kind of loop back in on each other, that's always a possibility. Okay, so that's empty. I feel like there might be still a couple spots here that we should have got to, just haven't. Okay, what do we got? This is a very short path right here. Okay, that's back to the uh, exit right there. I feel like I'm missing something here, though. That's a bit wobbly. Yeah, I feel like there was a path that we didn't take the second bridge, pretty much, from. Okay, so right over here. Was it this one? No, this is the one we've already been to, I think. This only has two exits. Yeah, okay, this one right here. We didn't go on to... This one over here, I don't think. Yeah, that's the one I'm missing. Ooh, a sword. 
Dragon Killer. 26 attack, effective on dragons. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, Justin, you actually need your... Your, what is it, uh, swords up. So we're going to give that to you. Yeah, you're actually going to lose a lot of attack power there. But I think you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll gain plenty of uh, strength and speed right there. You're going to end up pretty much as fast as Fina, I think. If not faster. Because you're already pretty damn fast as it is. Okay, let's try to figure out a way out of here then. You are still not doing a whole lot there. Uh, let's see. I don't think we ever went this way, did we? Unless this was just the uh, way out originally. No, I think we ever. I think we already have gone this way. Okay, looks like that's the end of that. And I think that should do it for this episode. And next time, we'll head into Gumbo Village and see what they got going on over there. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.